In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate service and ultimate shear and moments uh, for different types of loading that we can have on a, a beam in this case. Um, so in, you can see that we have a simply supported beam with a point load at mid-span of five kips, and this is a live load. And then we have a 0.3 kip per foot dead load that's applied on the beam. Uh, so if we were just finding our ultimate loads, uh, what we could do right now is factor both of our, our loads. Um, but since we want to find our service and ultimate loads, I'm going to go ahead and find the uh, shear and moment diagrams um, for our unfactored loads. And then we can um, come back and, and factor things later. Um, so we can start by finding our shear diagram for uh, our dead load. Uh, so we know that we have a, a 0.3 kip per foot live load uh, applied to the 20 feet. So we have a six kip total force, half of each or half going to each uh, support. So we'll have a three kip reaction in our left support. Our um, the slope of our shear diagram is equal to our uh, distributed load down to uh, negative three kips on the uh, right side. So we can check. We have uh, three kips up, our reaction on the left, uh, linear down, which is the slope of our, uh, or, or the slope is equal to our distributed load, and then back up three kips is our uh, reaction on the right. Uh, so our live load shear uh, is then, um, so five kips, half is going into each support. So our left reaction is two and a half kips. This will be equal until mid-span when we have the applied load, which will push us down five kips to negative two and a half kips. And then we'll be um, at negative two and a half until we get to the right support where we have our reaction of two and a half kips. So now, right now we have our unfactored uh, uh, dead load shear and live load shear. Um, so we can combine these to find our service level shear. So our service level shear, which we'll call VS, would just be five and a half kips, which is our two and a half plus our three. Uh, we have a slope down to uh, just our two and a half kips at, at mid span here. So at mid-span, we have a two and a half kip shear plus a zero um, kip shear from our dead load. And then we go down to negative two and a half kips. And then we have a, a slope down to our uh, shear at the right, which will be negative five and a half kips. We can now find our factored shear. So our factored shear, I'll, I'll write out some equations for us. Uh, so the um, expressions that we're going to use, are, uh, we'll use our uh, ultimate shear is equal to uh, 1.2 times our dead load plus 1.6 times our live load. So um, we'll start 1.2 times our dead load uh, three kips plus 1.6 times our live load, two and a half kips. And this will give us a V sub U equal to 7.6 kips. So this is at the, uh, at the ends of the beam. Uh, so we also need to find our V sub U at the mid span. So at this point, we'll have 1.2 times our dead load, which is zero kips plus 1.6 times our live load, which is still two and a half kips. So here at mid-span, we'll get our live load to be four kips. So we can draw our diagram then. We, have, we would have seven and a half kips at, or 7.6 kips at the end, down to four kips, to negative four kips, and then to negative. 7.6 kips. All right, we're ready to continue on and find our um, unfactored and factored moments. 
Uh, so we'll start by finding the uh, moment from our dead load. So our dead load moment, we have a simply supported beam with a distributed load. So our uh, dead load moment at midspan is just going to be WL squared over 8. So our W in our case is 0.3 kips per feet. Our L is 20 feet squared divided by 8 gives us our dead load moment of 15 kips or kip feet. So we know we have a parabolic shape with a maximum of 15 kip feet. So then we'll look at our live load. So point load in the middle, we know that our maximum live load is equal to PL over 4. So in our case, our P is 5 kips, our L is 20 feet, and out, uh, over 4. This will give us our M uh, live load at midspan of 25 kip feet. So we'll have a, a straight line there, straight line there, and 25 kip feet at midspan. So our service level moment will just be uh, adding these. So at midspan, we'll have uh, our service level is just 15 kip feet plus 25 kip feet, and we'll have a slope somewhere in between uh, the two. So we'll have uh, 40 kip feet as our service load. Our ultimate load then, we need to factor our uh, moments. So our MU at midspan is 1.2 times our dead load, which is 15 kip feet, plus 1.6 times our live load, 25 kip feet, to give us an MU of 58 kip feet. So once again, we'll have a, a slope kind of in between the two. And our magnitude is 58 kip feet. So to wrap it all up, uh, we found our service loads. Uh, so our service loads cause a service shear of 5.5 kips and a service moment of 40 kip feet. And our ultimate loads would cause an ultimate shear of a maximum ultimate shear of 7.6 and a maximum ultimate moment of 58 kip feet. Um, so we can then use these loads um, in our design. Uh, our ultimate loads we'll use to design uh, for uh, FMN. And phi VN. And then our service loads we can use uh, to check any serviceability requirements. So this may be uh, any deflection requirements. And also if we have any cracking requirements, we can use uh, our service level loads.